Welcome to our video vort for Parshas Pekude. A cloud during the day and a fire at night. That's how the Torah concludes the book of Shemos in the last verse in this week's Torah reading. But that description reminds us of something. It reminds us of the exact same description that we learned about earlier in Parshas Beshalach when the Jewish people were approaching the Yamsuf. Hashem describes in the Torah that they were accompanied during the day with a cloud and at night with a fire. What's the significance of the fact that at the conclusion of the building of the Mishkan, we meet the same description of the cloud and the fire? Perhaps the message is that we're supposed to turn to that previous experience. We're supposed to remember what did it feel like when we crossed through the Yamsuf, what did it feel like to have that experience? It felt like divine revelation. Our rabbis tell us, The most basic, spiritually low level of any individual had the type of experience that the greatest prophets, Yechezkel, did not experience, because there was an awesome revelation. God's presence was felt. It was felt during the day with the cloud and at night with the fire. Says the Torah, when we conclude the Mishkan, we should feel exactly as it was when we crossed the Yom Sof. The same way that at that point, every single person in the Jewish people felt an incredible presence of Hashem in their lives, we should feel the same way. The Mishkan is a base Hashem, it's a house of God, but it's also v'shachanti v'socham. It's an opportunity for everyone. And everybody through the Mishkan has a chance to feel that incredible Hashra Hashim. Shabbat Shalom.